Today, we find out which gold series is the best, the original series, the ghost rares, or maximum gold. What's up guys, we're back with another golden video and today we have another battle where we will be pitting three different gold sets against each other, but first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this amazing Defenders Booster Box. Simply like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications and let me know below which is the best gold series. We're gonna have scores and everything, but if your opinion is that, oh, well, the scores were wrong, you know, it should have been better, you know, we got unlucky, would have won last time, just let me know. So as I showed in the intro, we do have maximum gold Eldorado, four mini boxes of that. We have four mini boxes of gold series three and then we have four mini boxes of gold series haunted mine so we are going to have a counter and see which value wins this battle because i have asked a couple of different times which gold is better new or old gold this time we're going to get a little more specific we're going to have the original series which is gold three we don't have gold one and two we have gold three then we have the gold ghost rare series which had the blue eyes white dragon which is pretty awesome and then the newest gold series which people tend to not pick but some people actually really like this set and now i'm going to cut open these mini boxes to do you guys the favor of not opening these one at a time all right i've gotten all of these out of the packaging it turns out that both gold series 3 and gold series haunted mine are single packs so there's only one of each per mini box there's a lot of the maximum gold so that's going to be like most of like number of packs we're opening those have a ton of cards in them so what we're going to do is we're going to open four maximum gold then one in gold series haunted mine and one gold series three and rotate like that we're going to have totals popping up on the screen if you guys have not seen my previous maximum gold videos where we did challenges go check those out before we start let's go let's start off with the maximum gold el dorado which is the best gold new gold ghost gold old gold those are our options we don't have premium gold that is the only one we don't have right now but in the future we might rectify that that's an invocation that's a pretty good start we got the uh Zephraxi, Asa, cursed eldland so you do get two of the gold rares every single pack it's a very strange set where you get like multiple rares kind of it, it's pretty weird so second pack i'm gonna try and like remember what number pack i'm on for these so we're gonna try and open four but i'm gonna forget half the time i can guarantee it elixir of white destiny i didn't like recap on like what's in these sets because i like to get excited sometimes and i don't want to remember every single card uh we got the weather painter and then the evil czar dolka okay not bad and number one and the Haquero of the golden land and sometimes if you just know the set off the top of your head it's not quite as fun as if you get surprised oh yeah i forgot that was in here that's what we're trying to do here maybe uh Get a little bit surprised. I think we can get the access code in here, though. We got a Starlight, unless I'm thinking of the other one. Starlight Road, I should say. Not a Starlight Rare. That'd be nice. And then we have a Twin Twisters. Pretty good card. Prank Kids Fanzies. Okay, I think that was our third pack. So that means one more pack of Maximum Gold Eldorado. Then we move on to the others. So far, not anything crazy besides Invocation. probably our best pull. Might not even be a dollar, though. Ultimate Conductor Tyrander, the UCT. One of the best cards in the Dino deck. Pretty awesome. Code Talker, we have a number C1000, Numeronius, that's a cool name, the Battle Butler, and the Kagamusha Knight. So, not a crazy start for the Maximum Gold Eldorado. If you voted for Maximum Gold Eldorado, make sure you let me know in the comments. Okay, next up, we are going to take a Gold Series Haunted Mine, 25 cards per pack, guaranteed Ghost Rare, Ghost Gold Rare, I guess, is a little bit different, and then a couple of Gold Rares in here as well. I think it tells you on the back. I, I was just thinking while I was opening these, by the way, which took forever, and I was like, wow, these are really ridiculous products. How cool it is to get to open seven sets that are like been out of print for like 10 years it's just really really fun i get to do this for videos so shout out to you guys for allowing me to do this it's very cool let's hope that we can pull a ghost blue eyes you know to make it even better let's see if we can do it i think it's kind of in the middle here somewhere i can't remember i think the ghost rare comes up first i'm just gonna go through the cards bone crusher dawn of the herald gorg the strong's at it zombie master is a good card tiki curse fear from the dark pyramid turtle hint spell book i think there's a That is what we call a Ruxin Special. If you are new here, the Ruxin Special, when you pull, I pulled three cards actually, instead of one, right to the rare. So that is a Ruxin Special. We have done it again. Naturia Barky and Ghost Rare, not the one we're looking for. And next is the Gold Rares. Let's see. Uh, Cephalon, the Ultimate Time Lord, also not what we're looking for. Naturia Beast, I think, is a couple bucks. So that's going to be added into our tally. That's at least something, plus the Naturia Barkeon. It's going to be pretty hard to beat the, the Ghost Rare, you know, series because they have guaranteed Ghost Rares every time, which means they're going to have some value. But we'll see if Gold 3 can do it. Maybe Maximum Gold will get the access code. Who knows? Let's check the foil on this because, like, if these are gradable, they're crazy. I'm not seeing any print lines right now. Seems pretty clean, but it's pretty easy to miss the print lines in here. And then you look at a certain angle and you see there's a 100 of them. But it appears to be pretty clean. Maybe I'll send it on another PSA bulk submission soon. 
Could be a nice ghost rare. All right, the rest of the pack, let's see if there's anything. Ryu Koki's a cool card. I mean, you guys know I was looking for that for a while. The Dark Mimic. The Book of Life's a great card. Uh, Cliff the Trapper is actually a really hard card to find for Go format, so also not bad. I'm going to pull that out. All right, quick start for the Ghost Rare set, but we knew it was guaranteed. Gold Series 3, I don't remember what's in here. I'm not going to lie. What, what do we have? 25 cards, 3 Gold Rares, 22 Commons. It's basically the same thing, except one of the Gold Rares is, you know, a Gold Rare instead of a Ghost Rare, like in the last one. But one singular pack, a lot of cards. Let's try not to Rux and Special this time. It's right at the front. Okay, the go the gold rares are at the very front, so we're going to have to avoid those somehow. So there's one spoiler. Stardust Dragon is not a bad one, though, so we're going to do this. We're going to take those three and, and just set them down over there. We'll go through them real quick. The rest of our cards are Destiny, Draw, Amazon, a Swordswoman, Goblin, Zombie. Pretty good cards in here. I mean, Gold Series had some bangers. Uh, sure, the Blue Flame, Amazon is Archers, Amazon is Kalut. There it is. Simo Engage. They're right there. Black Whirlwind. We've got a lot of Blackwing stuff. Miss Valley, Freya, Chainmaster, Reese, Amazon Archer, Bora. A lot of a lot of black wings right there. That's insane. All right, now our gold rares, which were at the very front, which is a little bit weird. We have a Stardust Dragon, a beautiful print of this card. Edison formats, pretty strong. And basically all formats that it plays in until now, probably. And then we have Smashing Ground, pretty solid. It's a pretty good card. Probably, I don't know if that's a dollar because there's a lot of prints of this card. Then there is a... Ooh, a JD, a Judgment Dragon. That's pretty sick. I think this is the rarity that I run in my Lightsworn deck for Edison because I don't have those secret rares, unfortunately, first edition or ultis, but maybe one day we'll have them. And as you're looking at the rarities, make sure to, you know, think through what do you like the best? Do you like these gold rares from Gold 3? Do you like the gold ghost rares? Do you like the new maximum gold rares? I want to know your opinion in the comments. Okay, our second round. You guys will see the score popping up right here to see who is in the lead. I'm guessing the Ghost Rares are in the lead, but I really don't know. That's a big one. IP Masquerade. I think that's around 10 bucks. That's huge. That is a huge pull. Oh, another Rux and Special. We got a Tenki. Not too crazy. Prank gets Battle Butler. All right, so a huge pull. IP Mascarena, that's big for maximum gold. And keep in mind, that was only one of their four packs they're going to open this round. So they've got a lot more potential they can do here. A lot of decent cards that they can pull to make a comeback. Number four, we got a Prank Kids Lamp Seas. Weather Painter Snow, that's probably not one to make a comeback. That is one. I think this is only around two bucks, surprisingly, but it's because... Seems like people don't really love this rarity, but you're gonna have to let me know in the comments if that's the case or if there's another reason for Pot of Extra being only a couple bucks. But a couple bucks counts on the scoreboard. Two packs to go in this round for Maximum Gold El Dorado. Will we pull something big? We've got the Weather Painter Thundery Canvas. We have the Predator Plant Verite Anaconda. Would have been a huge pull before it got banned. We have the also the Earth Charmer Immovable. I have a Starlight Rare of this for sale. Check it out on TCG Player. We got uh, Numeron Calling, a seller named Ruxin, by the way. Uh, Fire from Engine Tinky. Okay, so nothing too crazy in that one. Uh, would have been a great one before Verite got banned. This would be such a crazy, like, uh, small box, mini box, whatever you call it, back then. But unfortunately, it is banned now. We have the, well, probably not for it, unfortunately. But hey, look, I like Dragoon, okay? L let me summon it, okay? Conquistador, that was a Ruxin special, by the way. Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. I always, so like the original print of this was always worth money, and this alternate art is not usually, I don't think. So the Conquistador honestly could be a couple bucks though, because Eldritch, pretty popular. I'm not sure if that one is over a dollar or not, but we'll have to see on the screen. So that was four packs. That was a decent showing for Maximum Gold Eldorado. I think the score is getting a lot closer. Let's see if we do pull a Blue Eyes here. I'm not sure if any of the other gold can win, but we'll have to see if they can. The Ghost and the Gold Rares were pretty early in this pack last time, so. I don't know if I could figure it out. Maybe do like this. Wait. I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared to try that. So let's just go through it. We have a Goblin Zombie. I'm going to not Rux and Special this one. Watch this. Dark Scorpion, Dawn of the Herald, Fear from the Dark, Tiki Curse. We got the Red Ogre, the Call of the Mummy, Vampire Lady, Hidden Spellbook. This was one that was like a, a little bit of money for a while. I think the next one could be the Gold Rare. Wait. It is it. Okay. So what we're going to do, the next one, so it's... One, two, three, right there. We're going to do four just to be safe. All right, we have the uh, Double Costin, the Dark Mimic Level 3, Hell Palmer, Book of Life, another decent one, Gurnia, Dark Mimic Level 1, Physical Double, Ryukoki, pretty cool, Lighty and White. They, it's always the same card. It's not like Gold Series 1 where me and Simo pulled the same cards over and over, but it's pretty close. It's Chick the Yellow, Patrician of Darkness, Hidden Spellbook. There's, there's the card. Wait. Is that it? Wait, okay, maybe it's the next one. Copy Knight. Here should be our ghost rare. Blue eyes, white dragon, solemn judgment, mystical space typhoon. That's what we want. And it's the blue eyes, white dragon. Let's go. Oh my 
my goodness! The Ghost Gold Blue Eyes White Dragon. And let's see if it has any print lines. Oh no, look at that! It's got a ding on the edge! No! Come on, how? How did that even get there? Oh, the rest is so clean. Blue Eyes White Dragon, wow! It's ding! That's such a bummer because it looks so clean. All right, the rest of the gold rares are Kura Curry Steel and Call of the Haunted. So a couple of decent ones there. Man, that's such a bummer. All right, Gold Series 3 is gonna need some big pulls here. So, okay. We remember that the gold rare is at the front, so what I'm gonna do is flip it around like this. I'm gonna do a little strategy so we don't ruin it right off the bat. We're gonna do one, two, three to the back. We're gonna go Magical Arm Shield, not TP8, but it's a Magical Arm Shield. We got the, the Grub, the Archer, the Destiny Draw, Miss Valley Watcher, Warm Hope. We got the Chain Master, Amazonist Paladin, the Miss Valley Wind Master, the Blackwing Sirocco the Dawn, good card. Infernity Dwarf, Amazonist Swordswoman, so many cards. Mist Kodor, the Aegis of Gaia, Amazonist Fighter, Blizzard the Far North. I basically have an entire like Blackwing core at this point just from these two packs. Amazonist Tiger and Amazonist as well. Black Whirlwind. Free of the Spirit of Victory. Is it next? No. We got the Blackwing Share of the Blue Flame. That's number two of those. We're in Falco. And we have first gold rare. A Blackwing Armor Master. Just more Black Wings. Okay. That is a pretty nice card. And Smashing Ground again. Isn't that the same card? Okay. And then. Thunder King Ryo, a pretty nice Edison card. So a couple of decent cards, nothing insane there though. Okay, this is looking interesting actually, because I think if, I mean, based on my estimation, it seems like Gold Series 3 might be in last place because the, well, it depends. It might be close because the IP is gonna be like 10. Yeah, they might be in the same ballpark right now, but we know that the Ghost Rares are winning right now. Scrap, Scrap Wyvern, Prank Gets Pranks. You guys know, you know, in general what it is, but Elixir of Scarlet Sanguine, the Prank Gets Rocket Ride. Fire Formation Tenki and Numeron Network. Okay, next pack, pack number two of our third round with Maximum Gold El Dorado. Will we get that access code talker? I'm gonna be saying that, it's not even in here. We have a Broken Line, we have a Conquistador of the Gold Land. Could be money, I'm not totally sure yet. And a Rescue Cat, I think that's pretty decent. The alternate art probably is worth more. And then the Sinet Mining, okay. I haven't checked in on these prices in a while, but I know usually these, you know, if they start money, sometimes they go down. They could be like two bucks, end up being like 50 cents. Let's see if we can get a big pull out of the gold of Maximum. We got the Scrap Chimera and a Book of Moon. That's certainly not worth a dollar. Book of Moon, Summon Limit, nice card, and Fire Wall. One last Maximum Gold El Dorado pack for this round. So far, not much has been pulled that's really going to impact their standing, which means Gold 3 could move up to the next level. Golden Land, we got Eva. Can we get, oh, Black Rose. That's pretty sick. So we've pulled Black Rose and Stardust in this so far today. It's pretty amazing. We got the Fossil Dig, Solding Over Wrapped, a cool for dragons, uh, or dinos, I should say, not dragons, um, but not that great in terms of value. Okay, and then a win. All right, all right. Gold Series on in mind. You've been pretty good so far. Can we get another Blue Eyes? It is possible to get multiple Blue Eyes out of one box, which these four did come from one box, so I will say that. I've seen three. I think Rhyme, of course, pulled three at one point. Let's go. We have called them. I mean, we're not going to worry too much about the commons because there are so many of them and we've seen most of them already. Bone Crusher. Let's just get to the ghost share. It should be coming soon. Don's Luke, I think, is a few dollar common. So that, that should be added. That's just more value added onto their uh, huge lead already. We've got the Copy Knight. We've got Pyramid Turtle. Oh, oh, it's a Solemn Judgment. Solemn Judgment. Please don't be dinged. Please don't be dinged. Okay, please don't be dinged. All right, Edge looks good. Surface looks amazing. It looks clean. I don't see anything too crazy. Back looks good. Wow. Okay, wait. This might be a gradable Solemn Judgment. I was thinking about that about the blue eyes, and then we saw the ding, but wow. Solemn Judgment Ghost Rare. I think that we know what's going to win this. This is going to be, uh, yeah, this is going to be a blowout, I think. Then, of course, we have Graffa, which is nice, and then a Brianac or Brianic, whichever one you, want, you want to call it. Probably more value on both of these as well. All right, Gold Series 3. This has just become a battle for not getting last, it feels like, at this point. I don't know if Gold... I ruined it. I forgot to do a special pack trick, but Mizuki is the only one we saw. No big deal. I don't know if it's possible for them to come back uh, versus those Ghost Rares. We got Amazon's Blowpiper. Archers, Collude, Malicious. Why am I even going through all these? I guess Malicious is pretty good. We'll pull that out. I guess we haven't seen too many, you know, commons that we want to pull aside yet. Let's see. 
Uh, Infernity Guardian. I have Ruxin Special twice in this pack. Chainmaster. These feel like extra sticky. Like, there goes another Ruxin Special. But it, these are like colluding against me, okay? Colluding. Get it? Okay, we got the uh, Board of the Spirit. <laughs> we need that da dun -dun edit right there. We got the uh, Sirocco, the Mist Kodor, Amazon is Fighter, Blizzard. We got Infernity Dwarf. There's the Mizuki that I looked at. Pretty nice. Anything else? Acorus Attack. Another good card for Black Wings. And. Elemental Hero. Prisma, which at the time was a pretty crazy card. Okay. I don't think it's gonna bring them back though. All right, final round. We have Maximum Gold Eldorado. I think Maximum Gold Eldorado actually has a shot to get second place, which I would not have guessed. They need a big pull here to solidify it. Let's see. Weather Painted Rainbow. I thought that could have been something big. Uh, Scarlet Sanguine. The uh, Zephyrexy. Tempest Dragon Ruler of Storms. Okay, I've been looking for a title Dragon Ruler of Storms tent and I can't find one. So if you guys have one and you want to help me out, you know, for a video. Let me know and then, you know, not in the comments. I, I might not see it there. Send me a message. Email me. That's even better. All right, three packs to go. El Dorado. Give us that access code, which may or may not be in here. I always get it confused with the regular El Dorado. I'm pretty sure it's in here, though. We got Cursed Eldland. Nice. Number C1000. Dragoonie Dragoonie the Night Romulus. That was exactly how you say that. I don't like how they move around the gold rares. Like, they're in different spots every time. It's really weird. I don't like it. I'm not, I'm not a fan of that, okay? Just keep them in the same spot, all right? I like consistency. We got Trishula, nice. Fossil Dig, Super Dreadnought, Rail Cannon, Juggernaut, Conquistador. Right, that's our place at a Conquistador. Akero and Numeron Wall, all right. And the final pack. Let's see. Are we going to be able to pull something big to end it off? We have the Red, Hot Red Dragon Archfiend, the Ancient Cloak. We have the Bullet Train, Plasma Alternate Art, and... Magical Dimension. Okay, Plasma is a decent card. I don't know if that's going to get in the dollar range or not, but maybe it will. They're probably going to need every dollar they can get. All right, final Gold Series Haunted Mind Pack. Just rubbing it in the face of the other golds. Do you agree with the results of how this has gone? Do you guys think Gold Series Haunted Mind is the best Gold Series ever? I think a lot of people would because they really like the Gold Ghost Rares. I think they look pretty nice. The foiling on them is absolutely awesome. So I think that that is definitely possible. Let's just see if we can get another Blue Eyes. Regenerating Mummy. Don's Luke, big common right there. Let's just pull that out. Zombie Master, Copy Knight. Pyramid Turtle, it's gotta be coming up soon. Goblin Zombie. Dark Scorpion, Gorg the Strong. And Mystical Space Typhoon. This is a great one. We are getting a lot of great Ghost Rares. We're getting all the ones we want. Uh, Centering's pretty good. I'm not seeing anything on the foil, but it's pretty hard to see sometimes. So I'm going to double check those in different lighting maybe later. Beautiful in terms of absolute quality on this, which is unusual for this set. So I'm probably missing something, but maybe we'll be grading these ghost rares. I hope so. It will be kind of a bummer though. Okay, there's our, oh, Formula Synchron's a good one. Okay, that's nice. If like all the other ones are like, you know, PSA 10 potential and the other one would have been, but it had like a little ding on the edge for some reason. That would kind of suck, but I'd still be happy with the other ones. Final pack of this gold battle between the original, the ghost, and the maximum gold. I mean, it's not the original pack, but the original series. I didn't, I did it again. I ruined it. Can they make a comeback against, not, not the ghost rares. I'm not gonna be able to do it. Against the maximum gold. That's their only chance. Okay, we've seen these commons many times before. You know, I'm just gonna go like this. Swordswoman. They're very sticky and hard to get through. Uh, Amazon's Tiger, Miss Kodor. We want to get to those gold rares because that's what we really care about. There's the Kalute. Okay, they're colluding against me. Um, Worm, that's probably what Gage felt like. He felt colluded against. We have Reese. We have the Malicious. Another one of those. That's uh, two of those. You know, it's a playset. You know, since one's banned. Uh, Blackwing Bora. We already know that front one, so no big deal. We get the Guardian. Infernity Archfiend, which is pretty cool. Can we get something big? Plague Spreader. That's pretty big. That's a good card. Okay, very nice. That's definitely worth a few bucks. And... Vice Dragon, pretty cool card, okay? Vice Dragon has a pretty cool story behind it. That special edition version is very, very rare. So seeing this in any version is pretty awesome. It looks like, um, I don't know, but here's, the, here's your results. I think that it was pretty close for second and third place, but first place was an absolute domination. Make sure to let me know in the comments if you agree with the results of this video. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, James Jance, TCG Trust Cards, America Deutscher, Supreme, Sage 21, Frankie Martinez, Nana Tai Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, Shadowfall, and Thomas McLean. Thanks for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.